It seems like we have confirmation about the first big update of Chapter 5 Season 1, 28.10. And this also seems to confirm that we will be having updates every two weeks as we used to. According to Hypex, Fortnite's first major update of Chapter 5 is now officially scheduled for next week. And it's set to have new stuff and some bug fixes too. For Battle Royale, Lego, Rocket Racing, Festival and Creative. Fortnite has been on their winter break, but that hasn't stopped them from poking fun at Apple, who's ordering them to pay $75 million in court fees by bringing Lee's back to the Fortnite item shop. Marshall math is tight, villagers not working at the metal smelter are some of the bugs set to be fixed in 28.10. 28.10 will probably mean new cosmetics, but strangely this current update brought Psycho back, but only to those who pre-ordered Borderlands 3 on the Epic Game Store in the past. This seems a little fishy. Hopefully this update may give us more details on the LEGO Ninjago collab that is set to be happening at some point too, as the collab is set to have a lot of content of course in LEGO Fortnite. We should also see new weapons and items in LEGO like the Refiner which is based upon the bridge, which looks like the bridge from the Chapter 2 Season 5 trailer. Of course I suspect it to work like a waypoint or transporter so we can move from village to village a little bit more easier. I mean I hope so, one like equals one prayer for that. It takes so long to walk across the map. As as well, Epic are working on a new biome called Dark Forest apparently, as well as a new weapon crafting system for the legendary items. This update should give us the rest of the bonus awards and of course the bonus skin for this season, which of course is Solid Snake from Metal Gear. This of course may not happen in update 28.10 but expect creative updates through quarter one of 2024, including the dreaded new UI. Yesterday, we also saw Fortnite's roadmap for the FNCS 2024. A new year means a new start for Fortnite competitive top players, and Fortnite's championship series returns for 2024 with a $7.6 million prize pool. Also, it does look like Siphon is completely gone, which may be a bit of an L. How to qualify for majors? Each major is a duo competition you and your duo must reach Platinum 1 in Ranked Battle Royale. So this is the format. From week 1 to week 2 we will have open qualifiers. To go into round 1 you need to be Platinum 1 and above. Top 2000 will go into round 2, top 1000 will go into round 3 and top 250 will go into round 4. And that's of course if you are NA Central and EU, if you're Oceania, Asia, Middle East or Brazil you won't have round 4. But you will have lower qualifying limits. For round 2 it's 1000 and for round 3 it's 250 teams. To still make the 250 people that will go into the semi-finals. Whether you go into the upper or the lower will be based on series points collected throughout the previous rounds. So if you're in the upper round 1, if you win one of the 5 matches you're straight through. While positions 6 to 25th after all 5 matches will advance to the upper semis round 2. So that's what happens if you finish in the top 50 in the open qualifiers on series points. But if you finish from 51st to 250th, you'll be in the lower round 1. After 10 matches, if you place in the top 30, you will then go to the upper round 2. Of course, if you finish from 31st to 205, you just get moved to the lower round 2. So basically, you will keep getting your chances. So in the upper round 2, 5 will go through. And then in the final upper rounds from round 3, 25 will go from the uppers and 15 will go from the lowers, making our 50 teams to the grand finals. And that is rather complicated. <laughs> Although the prize pool is reduced this year by $2 million from $10 million. We haven't actually got this new Eevee skin that actually can be released at any time at the moment. It doesn't have to wait for update 28.10. 28.10 should give us new cosmetics. Now this may be old news but I've just seen it but Fortnite released a survey and we're asking some pretty serious questions like Do you miss Fortnite Season OG? Am I looking forward to next season? How do I feel about match quests? And one confirming that Season 1 Chapter 4 was called A New Beginning, officially. Also Season OG actually being called Chapter 4 Season OG when they called it different things in different files. Sometimes it was called Chapter 4 Season 5, Season OG, Chapter OG, but here it's now called Chapter 4 Season OG. So tell me down in the comments, what do you call Season OG? I mean, you may just call it Season OG. And they were asking about experience inside a sandbox game like LEGO Fortnite, like buildings and building pieces you can earn in game, cosmetics you can purchase in game and stuff like that. And making more of an economy in Fortnite LEGO, I think will be a really nice idea. And a reminder, there is another open world game coming that will be more Fortnite related. This has nothing to do with the LEGO game. Of course, this survey is asking more LEGO questions, but maybe 28.10 will give us some hints to the open game world that Fortnite are working on. And will the 28.10 update reveal the final biome we have not seen yet because it's under snow? Guys, thanks for watching.